fact is, Jesus has compassion on you. And He wants to see you free. Jesus has compassion. So when He asks you, what do you want me to do? He's saying that because He wants you to be free. He wants you to be made whole. But He needs you to tell Him what you want. And then the Bible says, after the blind men were made free, they followed Him. In other words, they became disciples, followers of Jesus. In other words, they gave their life to Him. In other words, they chose to follow Him wherever He went. They followed His ways and believed what He said was true. Tonight, two great miracles are going to happen in this place. The first great miracle is that people, for the very first time, are going to become followers of Jesus. How many say Amen? That's going to be the greatest miracle in this place. Every time we've had an Arise event here in, in Davao, the people have come to Jesus. And tonight, people are going to come to Jesus. Tonight, the love of Jesus is going to draw you. Maybe the very first thing that you need to say to Jesus you want is to know that you're in relationship with Him. Maybe the very first step for you is to say, Jesus, I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died upon the cross for me. And I believe that I am a sinner. I'm separated from you. But thank you that you died on the cross for me to forgive me of my sin that I can come close to you and have relationship with you. Maybe tonight that's the very first thing. And tonight we're going to give opportunity. I want to pray for you to come to Jesus. I'm not talking about religion. I'm not talking about a set of rules that you have to live by because there are many people throughout the world who are trying to live a religious life. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about a real relationship with Jesus. You may have heard about Jesus. You may have heard the stories about Jesus. But that doesn't mean you know Jesus. You can read about Jesus, but it doesn't mean you know Him. So tonight, all across this place and all across the area of Jensen, there are people that are in this place and in Jensen that need to come to Jesus for the very first time. And in a moment I'm going to give you that opportunity. I'm going to ask you to come and stand at the front so I can pray for you. You might say, wow, that's, that's a scary thing to do. And in Jensen you're going to come forward and Pastor Danny is going to be at the front of the, of the, of the auditorium like I am here. And people in Jensen are going to come as well. Imagine that tonight. At the same time you're becoming a Christian, people are becoming Christians in Jensen. Come on, give Jesus a hand for that tonight. But in a moment I'm going to invite you to come. And to come and stand here. And again, you might say, wow, I'm going to be in front of people. What are people going to think about me? What are the crowd going to think? See, again, you're worrying about the crowd. Forget about the crowd. If you want to come to Jesus, then come to Jesus. Don't worry about what other people think. But in a moment, I'm going to ask you to have the courage and the strength and the determination to say, tonight, I'm coming to Jesus. And I don't care what people think. And I don't care what my friends think. And I don't care how embarrassing it may feel because Jesus Christ died upon the cross for me. And if Jesus, the Son of God, can die upon a cross, then it's not too hard for me to walk out in front of people and say, I choose to follow Jesus. Come on. It takes courage. It takes determination to come to Jesus. And you know, I could make this really easy for you. And I could try and make it all, you know, nice and soft. And, but tonight, I'm not going to do that because you know what? Jesus, man, come on. Jesus, the Son of God, went through incredible pain and hung on the cross for you. And tonight, I'm not going to make it easy. Tonight, I'm not even going to get people to stand up. Tonight I'm not even going to get you to lift your hand. In a moment I'm just going to ask you to come. 
I'm going to get you to come out of your seat or wherever you are and I'm going to ask you to come and walk and stand here and have the courage to say, Pastor Scott, I'm choosing to follow Jesus. And in Jansan, Pastor Danny, I'm choosing to follow Jesus and to come and stand here courageously and say, I am a follower of Jesus tonight. Come on, sir. This is a courageous man. Come on, Jensen, there are people coming to Jesus. How about in Jensen, you begin to make your way to the front with Pastor Danny, and you say, I'm choosing tonight to follow Jesus. I'm choosing. Come on, all across this place right now. If that's you, I want you to start coming. Come and join these brave people and say, I'm choosing to follow Jesus. Come on, right across Jensen. Jensen, come on. How about you get out of your seats, Jensen, and you walk to the front, and you come and follow Jesus. Be a follower of Jesus tonight. Come on, let's applaud these great people. Come on, give them a hand of praise as they come tonight to choose to follow Jesus. Tonight you're coming to Jesus. Tonight you're coming to the King of all kings the Lord of Lords. And listen to me, you're not perfect and you don't have to be perfect tonight to come to Jesus. Just come as you are. You might say, I swear I do this, I do that. When I'm, when I'm a great person, I'll come to Jesus. Listen to me all across this place. You'll never be good enough to come to Jesus. You'll never be good enough to come to Jesus. You need to come right now as you are. And you need to say, Jesus, I'm coming to you. Right across this place, come on. There is still time for others to come. If you're coming to Jesus for the first time, come on, join this crowd of people. Come on, Jensen. If you're in that crowd in Jensen right now, get out the front and choose to follow Jesus. Choose to follow Him. Right across Mindanao right now, people are coming to Jesus. People are coming to Jesus. I think we're getting some images on the screen. There's people coming to Jesus. There you go. There's Jensen coming up. People are coming to Jesus tonight. Through the great thing of technology, the gospel is being preached here in Davao. And in Jensen, and people are coming to follow Jesus. Look at all these people surrendering their life to Him. Tonight you're going to be set free. Come on, there's still time. I want to give you time. If you're in the right across this place, up the top, and you're saying, you know what? I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know if it's for me. What will my friends think? What will my family think? You know, come on. Have the courage to follow Jesus. Have the courage to say, I choose to follow Jesus. I'm going to stand up for Jesus. Come on, is there anyone else before we pray? All right, are you ready to pray this prayer with me? This is a very simple prayer. It's simply a prayer where you're asking Jesus to forgive you for your sin, to forgive you for all the things of the past and all the things of the future that are going to cause you to fall over and stumble and to wash you clean. Jesus tonight reaches out to you and says, you're clean. You're clean. Some of you need to hear that tonight. You're clean. You might say, I was, I'm such a terrible person. No, no, no. You were a terrible person. But Jesus says you're clean. You're clean. This is a new start for you. It's a new day. I want you to pray this prayer with me, every one of you who have come out. And I want you to follow me as I pray. Repeat it after me. Let's pray this prayer. Lord Jesus. Come on, how about we pray together nice and loud. Lord Jesus. Tonight I give my life into your hands and I choose now to follow you. 
I thank you, Lord, that you forgive me of all of my past. And I thank you I'm clean. I'm set free. And I choose now to follow you with all of my heart. And even when I fall over, even when I make mistakes, you still love me. And you still believe in my life. I thank you now for your peace and your joy that fills my heart. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Come on, give Jesus a great hand of praise tonight. That's the greatest miracle. That's the miracle tonight. That's the miracle. Now those of you who who have come out, how many of you suffer from fear? Come on, I want you to be honest. Lift your hand. You have some sort of fear. I'm not going to embarrass you. Just tell me if you have fear. God bless you. Come on, be honest. If you have fear, I want to see it. We're going to break fear off you tonight. Fear is going to go from your life. Look how many people are suffering from fear. See, the fear is like a disability. Fear disables your life. God is going to powerfully set you free from fear. So I want you to close your eyes while I, while I command fear to leave you. Because right now you're a child of the living God. You're a child of the King. Fear has no place on your life any longer. In a moment, I believe tonight we're going to see God powerfully deliver people. I don't want anyone to be afraid of what God's about to do here. God is powerful. God knows that there's an enemy called the devil who wants to rob and steal and destroy people's lives. But tonight Jesus wants to set people free. And maybe tonight you're going to see some things that you've never seen before. But I want you to trust Jesus. I want you to know that he's going to set people free. So right now, I want you to pray to him, every hand that's raised. I want you to say, Jesus, take this fear from me. I don't want it anymore. I'm sorry for holding on to it. And I ask that you set me free. Break the chains. Break the chains. Break the chains. Break the chains. chains. Take this fear, Lord. Break the chains. Break the chains. Break the chains. All right, now I want you to sing this song with me tonight. And something powerful is going to happen here. People are going to be delivered from these things. Come on, let's sing this song together. Oh.